During this video segment, I will show teachers how they can add content to their units. To do so, I'm going to go to my Dan Sample Science map and notice that I have this unit right here called Rock Formations and I already attached my benchmarks but I haven't added in any essential questions, learning targets, uh, assessments, and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and add that content in. To do that, I simply go to the unit that I want to edit and I click on the pencil icon. That will then bring up the edit unit page and notice it has a separate set of editors for each of, of the fields that we have in our template. So let's go ahead and enter an essential question. Maybe it is, uh, what type of rocks do we find beneath our school? Um, maybe a second one might be, what types of rocks might we find beneath our school in the future? Or, I don't know, and so forth. So we can enter our questions. Um, we can enter all this content. Um, also, you can type it in as I just did, but if you wanted to, you can also copy and paste it from another location. For instance, uh, I have some text here. Uh, maybe it's in a Word document and you decide you want to paste that in. Notice when I pasted it in, it has some italicize and some uh, bold and so forth. If you want to keep the formatting that you had in your source document, you can do that. Or you can simply highlight the text and click on this eraser and then it will clean it all out for you. Another way that you can do this is I could have taken this exact same set of content that I just copied. I'm going to copy it again. And in this time, instead of pasting it in, I can click on this icon that says paste as plain text and I'll paste it in with control V click OK and what that does is the paste as plain text is a really nice feature it'll strip all your formatting ahead of time and add that in or like I said you can go ahead and you can type in your content as well so this is an instructional activity and these are my unit resources, so you can type in whatever those might be and so forth. So once you have your content added in, we can go ahead and click Save. And now if I expand my unit, note that, note that the content that I just added in is in here. If you need to edit anything for any reason, you can do that. Just click on the pencil icon again. And so what types of rocks might be... found in uh, South America. And so I can make those changes, whatever those might be, click Save, and you'll notice that those changes are back in here again. The other thing that you can do when you add your content in is you can add content into each of the text boxes but you can also add in attachments. Notice that I have a couple of attachments added into this field right here. So for rock formations, I have uh, this uploaded file and I have this website address. Um, looks like it's in the wrong area, probably should have been in here instead. But uh, So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that list. And that is this paper clip right here. Those are called unit resources. And notice, sure enough, here's the two that I just had added. If I want to delete those out, I can very easily do that. And now if I click go back, uh, whoops, uh, let's go back there again. So go to Dan Sample Science, and if I expand it, notice that they are gone. But if I wanted to go ahead and add some in, I can click Add Attachment, and I can decide what field I want to attach this resource to. So I'm going to attach um, a rubric to my assessments area. And your attachments can be either an uploaded file where you browse and find it on your computer and upload it, or it can be a link to a website, or it could be a page with text. So in this case, I'm going to do a page with text, and we'll call it our rubric. 
and so we'll put in our minimal basic uh, proficient and advanced or we could use a one two three four and I might want to put in some text about what to, um, I'm just gonna cheat here and just t paste some in so what uh, has to occur for them to be in each of those and so forth so I'll go ahead and add that in and so now I have that attachment if I wanted to add another attachment let's make a resource and uh, we'll try the uploaded file option and so I'm gonna go ahead and find that file on my computer so let's go here to uh, my demo school and let's say that I want to upload this uh, PDF document and I can save that and then finally let's also add another attachment in the resources area let's say that it's gonna be a website link so I found a website link here for a rock uh, activity so we'll call it rock whoops activity and we will go ahead and click save and so now if I click go back uh, you'll notice that in my uh, I keep making a mistake there I apologize but let's go to our Dan sample science and if I expand here once again notice here's our rubric I can click go back uh, notice here's our newsletter opens in a new browser window which is an upload of file and then here's our website opens a separate tab for it and I can click close and I'm right back where I started this now concludes this instructional video